Hey guys, so today we are going to be taking a look at video and stuff number 20 where they announced some new things for Legends. This one actually had a bit of information, a little bit, a little bit more than we're used to, I think, uh, in recent videos and stuff. So at 14 minutes, let's go ahead and get started. Just sort of, uh, you know, glaze over what they talked about here. So there's a few actually really, really nice things they talked about here. So they're updating the Ultra Space Time Rush to basically uh, the missions where previously to this update if you did the you know ultra space time rush and you can only uh, you can only clear the missions or i guess they're calling them trials now if you beat the stage while fulfilling these conditions so what they're doing now is even if you lose and you fulfill the conditions they're still going to be cleared so it's making they're making it a lot easier to clear these i don't know because when they announced this i looked at this and i was like if they're going to be doing this they might as well just remove the trials altogether <laughs> like is there a reason to do this? Like, what you know what you do for this is you just put in like like so for this one for example, battle with two blue characters or more. You just put in like two hero blue units, go in, like instantly lose, and then go in with a real team. Like I, I don't know, <laughs> it, it seems unnecessary. They might as well just remove these missions if they're going to be doing that. But makes it a bit easier for people to clear, so that is good. All right, let's continue here. Uh, PvP tier character filters. This one is not too crazy. It just allows you to filter your character box via what tier the characters are in in the PvP boost system. Next, we have a co-op rematch feature. This is obviously something they've been working on for a very, very long time. People have been asking this for a very, very long time. Uh, it sounds like it's only going to be accessible to people who are queuing up in co-op, or I guess it also affects raids with people that you know. So it's either friends or people in your guild that you invited. Um, it also... Let me put on the... Uh, closed captions here um it also sounds like it's it might be limited so let me see uh, uh it'll be possible to rematch up to 10 times in a row in one session so the reason why i think they're doing this limited to, to 10 times in a session is because of uh people using mods and auto clickers because if you're somebody using an auto clicker and now they introduce this rematch function it's going to make this way easier for you, right? If you have an auto clicker, because it's going to allow you to sort of just do this way faster. So them limiting this to 10 times per session means that even with an auto clicker, um, you're going to have to at least back out and go back in. By the way, when they mean one session, I assume this means um, like you have a, like you invite somebody, you rematch 10 times, and then you could disband the group and then re-invite them and then you reset the 10 times. I think that's probably what that means. Um, but let me just, uh, well, we'll see as it comes out, I guess. Yeah, is there a reason for the limit on the number of rematches? Obviously concerns about possible exploits if there's no limit. Exactly what I just mentioned. But stop matching with others via search function, yeah. So this is interesting. This is actually probably one of my favorite things that they talked about in this video stuff, which is the replay feature. This is, um, for me as a YouTuber and somebody who makes content on the game, actually, like, I I'm interested in hearing what you guys have to think about this. So basically, this is the God Tube feature, right? It even says God Tube right here. Watch your own battles or those of Legend's strongest players. With this feature, you'll be able to view and check out both your own battles and those of Legend's top players. So it looks like there's going to be a separate menu for this. There's going to be new replays, replay collections. You can, like, sort of save replays and uh, watch history, I guess, of uh, matches that you've spectated or watched. So I'm thinking this might be an easier way for me to make videos on the game, right? If I if I want to record a bunch of matches, like I know for my top, uh, you know, top ranked PvP videos, I always record those in advance. This would be a lot easier way for me to do this because I can just go into the game, post matches and go through my match history and show you guys every single match that I did um, via the, the replay feature. Now it'll be interesting to see if they have other functions in the matches, like is there going to be a pause button during the replay, is there going to be like a fast forward or rewind button, like we'll see what, how they do this, but uh, this is going to be uh, I, I think a really helpful tool for somebody like me who makes content on the game and videos in the game, uh, but we'll see how they actually uh, do this because uh, this, this is something I've actually wanted for a really long time, so... Uh, it looks like you just want to enjoy watching skilled players duke it out, so you can, like, go onto the leaderboards and the ladder and, like, see what players are playing each other and see the replays that are public, so that's pretty cool. Um, you can also watch our own battles. You can replay your own, own battles for your battle history. That's good. 
also save your best replays to your favorites. Yeah, so like if I want to do a session of like 10 battles, I can save them all to my favorites and then I can make a video on like the post recorded versions of those. Now, obviously, it doesn't mean I'm going to stop doing the live recorded matches because people like watching the live commentary, but it's a good alternative, I think. It, 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 when I'm recording a video, it makes it a lot easier for me to play to my best abilities when I don't have to worry about commentary live. So uh, this will help in that regard, I think. Uh, okay, next up. Uh, let me just go. Faster loading and transitions. This one, I mean, it's always nice when they do this, but I don't know if this is going to be anything game breaking. They showed like a little comparison. It wasn't like super, super different. Like three to four seconds different. So it's not a huge update, but anytime they're able to improve like the speed or uh, shorten the amount of waiting you have to do when clicking on different menus in the game is definitely good. Um, so there's a new mode called Full Power Battle. This is something that they teased in the prior video and stuff. So uh, this is sort of like the raid thing we saw. So we'll do the same about this. So this is an, uh, take on a boss with four battle members in this new mode. Pick a character whose tags fulfill the deploy conditions and head into battle. You can also assign up to 10 support members per battle member. You can also borrow characters from friends and guild members, so be sure to join a guild and make tons of friends. You can set a total of 11 support members, including comrades from friends or guild members. So when the boss loses a certain amount of health, a special scene will play out. These include phases where you wait for your chance to strike, or where you must focus on dodging and avoiding the boss's attacks, or where you can go all out with one powerful attack. Look forward to how each fight plays out. So from what I understand, uh, and from what they talked about, this is going to be a single player mode, which is good because I really don't want four players trying to fight with their connections with each other, right? <laughs> this is much better in terms of stability. Uh, but it looks like you can use, um, you know, characters from friends and guild members. So that's good. Uh, he also mentioned some kind of like special rising rush with four characters together. So I think there's going to be special, um, like animations and stuff in this mode. It looks like, you know, there's like this Z that pops up animation wise. So. We will see how this plays out. I don't expect this to be coming out tonight, by the way, just because I believe for something like this, they would need to do game-wide maintenance. And I don't believe there's game-wide maintenance. And let me just quick double check this maintenance notice. Yeah, there's just shop summon PvP in front of This is not like game-wide maintenance where they, I think they need to update the version mode for this. So that's good. Um, so let's keep going. Uh, so they talk about a 60 million users celebration as well, which is what we're moving on to next. Uh, let's see. So the first thing to talk about here is we have a uh, two new characters coming. Super Saiyan God, Super Saiyan Goku, and Vegeta from Resurrection F. New event characters are coming. So this is cool. I mean, again, it's mostly just God Key stuff. Uh, but this is good because these are basically the <laughs> first year anniversary units, right? We had the blue Super Saiyan Goku and the purple uh, Super Saiyan Blue Vegeta. Uh, I didn't really give any details on what these guys do, but um, because they're event characters, they should be pretty easy to obtain. And uh, the fact that uh, they're going to be on a bunch of teams, right? You have God Key Saiyan, Sun Family, and I guess movies. Well, that maybe it depends if they're from the Resurrection F movie or Saga. And the same thing for Vegeta. Vegeta's going to be Saiyan, Vegeta Clan, God Key, and then potentially movies. We'll see. So pretty good uh let's continue so we mentioned this earlier they mentioned this during battle hour but there's going to be a zenkai awakening for super saiyan god super saiyan vegeta the lf blue vegeta here uh so they tell us a little bit about what he can do so first things first he gets another instance of card draw speed via his green card so <laughs> if you pop his green card and then you pop his main ability he's going to be getting three times card draw speed yeah it's <laughs> a lot um, he gets inflicted strike damage up effect added to main abilities. He has a greater offensive capabilities with increased inflicted strike damage at the start of battle when all unique abilities are unlocked. So basically what this means is when you have him fully Zenkai Awakened, uh, he'll be able to get a start of battle strike damage buff, which is what he needed, so that's good. So, looks like they're mostly focusing on strike damage up after he Zenkai's, which is, makes sense because he's a strike based unit, so. Uh, I am actually pretty nervous about this because this guy was one of the characters where I was like, do I really want them to Zenkai this guy or not? Um, I think if they were going to do it, now is the right time for him to sort of counter Ultra Gogeta, but we'll see how they handle that. Uh, the one thing I am a bit nervous about as well is the fact that they did show off that Beerus that we saw during Battle Hour. He is a blue God Key character. Um, so the fact that this Vegeta is green, by the way, this Vegeta does extra damage to God Key and he locks in. 
I'm a bit nervous as to that. Like, if they release that Beerus and then they go ahead and release this Vegeta, is this Vegeta just going to completely, like, neutralize that Beerus, like, right away? I, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see how they, how they handle that. And then next, we have a video which I will play and uh, we'll talk about it afterwards. Let me unmute this and we'll take a look at this together here. At this. Well, there you guys go. Uh, LF full power Jiren. Uh, I don't think I saw a single person theorize that this was going to be the character that they showed off here. I, <laughs> I mean, I thought it was going to just be the Beerus, but it looks like they're... Because <laughs> we know Beerus is dropping tonight, right? So what I think is going to happen is we're going to have a Legends Limited step up banner for the first time in a year's time, uh, where a standalone non like anniversary or Legends Festival step up banner has a new LF and a new one percent sparking unit. Finally, they're bringing back the one percent sparking units. Finally, about time. So let's quickly go through this video one more time. And I'm going to see if I can point out different things about what this guy's doing. So first things first, this looks like it's going to be a strike cover change. You can see Goku lunge in with the strike card and he knocks him back. So this is a very obviously a strike cover change. Looks like it is uh, combable with a blue card at least from this point, just because Goku's flying backwards and just like disappear into the sky and come back down like right away. This is his blue card. Uh, it looks like it, you know, it potentially could be an AOE just because it does like the big explosion, but I, I don't know for sure. Uh, let's see, there's a tackle. So his strike cards do have blast armor. That's always good on new uh, characters. It's pretty much becoming a very normal thing at this point. Um, Alright, what else does he do? Charging up, vanishing, tap attack. So this is his green card. Now, <laughs> it looks like he does have, once again, an AoE green card. So, yeah, you can see he does the green card animation, and I guess this is his ultimate. He does knock back Goku. You can see that he's knocked back from the green card effect, so it does look like that is an AoE green card. And then here's his ult. This is probably one of, if not the single longest LF animation in the game. Look how long this is. It just keeps going and going and going. Uh, but, yeah. LF full power gear and they did show some information about what he can actually do after this so we'll go ahead and take a look there um, but before we even look at what he can do let me know down below when your guys thoughts on this were you expecting this I don't think anybody was if you say you were expecting this I'm gonna I'm gonna be a bit skeptical on that <laughs> uh, but let's see so LF full power gear is coming to legends uh, <laughs> even though we announced Beerus during the recent battle hour uh, Jiren full power is coming too that's right. And if you look at the tweet that they made about Beerus, they stated that Beerus was coming out on the 23rd, which is tonight. So he is coming out at the same time as Jiren, so he should be a 1% sparking on the banner. I'll only be able to give a quick overview, but let's take a look here. Okay, so let's see what they say about Jiren. So the first thing I saw immediately was he's purple. Are you kidding me? How many purple characters are you going to make in this game? Dude, the game is literally purple ball legends at this point. How many purple? <laughs> Guess what this means? Full power Frieza and Zenkai full power Frieza are both going to be really good <laughs> against this Jiren. Okay, so he's purple. He is range type, which is interesting because he still has Blast Arm on the strike cards. His tags. Now, this is one of my issues with this Jiren. He's on Universe 11, which is not a team. He's on Rival Universe, which is in like mega, mega 
emergency mode because they suck. And powerful, powerful enemy. Okay, they made, they made a mistake. It's supposed to be powerful opponent. I don't know what powerful enemy is. Okay, so it's supposed to be powerful opponent. He's on powerful opponent, which I would say is not a team you ever see. Like, you don't just see a standalone powerful opponent team being ran in PvP at all. So, right off the bat, my major issue with this character is that, like, uh, other than the leader slot for other teams, like, where are you running this unit? I actually, I don't know where you, like, he doesn't, he doesn't, like, he obviously is going to fit on Rival Universe and Powerful Opponent, but those teams are not good. This is my issue with them not giving Kale a good Zenkai Awakening, because imagine if Kale was actually, like, a very good and solid Zenkai Awakening for Rival Universe. Purple pairs up amazing with red. They, you know, it's literally a classic combination in this game. If Kale was a character that actually could tank and she has and she had really good abilities with support and utility for the team, this Jiren would have had an immediate home on the Rival Universe team, which has a solid foundation with Zenkai Kale. You have Yellow 17, you have uh, Evolution Blue Vegeta, but they decided to make Kale absolutely terrible, so that team is still bad. And so what I'm what I'm getting from the tags that they have here for Jiren. I actually feel a similar way that I do to when Bardock released, or when Bardock was announced, where I'm like, yeah, he's he seems fine, but where, where are you using Bardock, right? And now, obviously, Bardock has access to, like, the Saiyan team and stuff like that, but I think this guy's just going to be relegated, at least for the time being, to the leader slot. And it's not like Rival Universe has a ton of other... <laughs> has a ton of other characters that are coming out soon. We already have God of Destruction Topo. We already have like almost all of the powerful or the uh, powerful Rival Universe characters from the Tournament of Power. So like, what else is there to release to make this tag better? He is also on the Universe Survival Saga team, so I feel like that team. Once we get like the big updates with like, we are eventually gonna get an LF Kefla, which will also be in Rival Universe. This obviously <laughs> Ultra Instinct Goku, the Master White-haired version, will also be on Universe Survival Saga, so that'll help this Jiren as well, but. Again, for the time being, I I think this is just going to be like a a leader slot character. You're only going to really see him there. Z ability three uh, level three, so this is six stars. Uh, he gets 32% to Universe Rival Saga, Rival Universe, or Powerful Opponent Blast Attack and Strike Defense, and then 15% to Rival Universe Base Blast Defense. Okay, pretty solid. Uh, unique ability applies the following effects to self when battle starts. So he gets 90% to damage inflicted and then 40% to reduce damage received. Seems pretty standard to me at this point for LFs. Um, this was Blast Armor, obviously we already saw that. He also has this special cover change against strike attacks, which we saw also in the preview. So his unique ability applies the following effects to self when an enemy activates Rising Rush. This is very... Similar to Yellow Sin Shenron, if you guys remember what he does, but he gains extra abilities when the enemy uses a Rising Rush. So he gets 40% damage inflicted. He gets 70% Akira recovery. He gets card draw speed. He gets endurance. <laughs> he, um, <clears throat> ghost type, no. He, he nullifies enemy special actions. Okay, that change, that activated when changing cover, so that's good. So that kind of reminds me of like the green Jiren. He gets all of this when the enemy activates Rising Rush. And it's really important that it activates when the enemy activates Rising Rush and not like after the enemy lands a Rising Rush because upon the enemy clicking their Rising Rush button, he gets Endurance, right? So the fact that he gets Endurance means that the enemy activates Rising Rush, you can immediately throw this guy out onto the battlefield and he'll be able to survive the rush because of the fact that he gains Endurance here. I mean, this is a lot of effects he's getting. This is basically like... Uh, <laughs> like... Uh, I don't know. Like this is this is very very powerful. Forty percent damage, seventy percent cure, carefully card draw speed, endurance, <laughs> thirty seconds of not having to worry about special cover changes, restores own health by thirty five percent when two allies are defeated. So he, I guess he's more of a last stand character, and then special cover change against strike guards attacks, combo bolt with the blue card. So that is pretty much all we know um, about him. The special arts will make his next striker blast arts. Wait, what does he say? His special arts will make his next striker blast arts have a chance to inflict faint. Wait, what? <laughs> Are, dude. <laughs> oh my god. Are you kidding me? His, we already know his green card is an AoE green card. Dude, imagine Majub, where his green card lets you inflict faint. <laughs> oh my god. Stop. 
Um, all right, well, there we go with full power. G I mean, just quickly going over his teams here. This is the reason why I was a little bit... I mean, he's, he's not on God Key, but we have, like, the free-to-play uh, Goku and Vegeta. For some reason, they didn't show the Beerus, even though we know for a fact <laughs> that he's dropping tonight with this Jiren. Because they tweeted out he's dropping on the 23rd again, which is tonight. I'm a little confused why they didn't show a screen like this for Beerus, but, uh, yeah. So... Uh, we know Beerus is dropping. He's going to be on God Key. He's also going to be on Universe Survival Saga because he does the animations from Universe Survival Saga. Jiren is going to be on these two teams and then uh, Powerful Opponent. Let me pull up Powerful Opponent as well. So he's purple. Do they, they give enough purple units here? Like, oh my god. I mean, at the very least, Rival Universe does need a new purple because purple hit is all they had really up until this point. So it's good to have another option here. Obviously, it'll be better than purple hit. Um, Universe Survival Saga, they had the purple UI Goku. So he does also make the cut, I assume, easily the best unit on this tag as well. Rival Universe, uh, they do actually have a decent amount of purple characters here. The Zenkai uh, Fusion, uh, Fusion Zamasu. We have the Transforming Demon King Piccolo. We have Rose Goku Black. We have LF Cell. I, I would be very, very surprised if LF Cell ended up being better than this full power Jiren. So he should also end up being the main purple for powerful opponent as well. But again, you never see this team. You never see this team. You never see this team. So I, I just think he'll be relegated to the leader slot for now, which is why I'm a bit disappointed. But um, again, I think this is a character that will see a major uprising once these teams end up getting better, especially Universe Survival Slug, because we're eventually going to get like this UI Goku, right? The one in the background here. And when we do that, I assume he'll come up with a bunch of other Universe Survival Slug buffs at the same time. And this Jiren, I think, will shine a lot more then. But in terms of like his impact on the meta right now. I don't really expect it to be anything too crazy, but let me know down below what you guys think about this release here, about the all the things we saw in this video, the um, the replay feature, the new mode, rematch button, LF Jiren coming out, the BRS as well, who they for some reason didn't talk about, but hope you guys enjoyed this one, and I'll see you all in the next one.